Mailerlite versus GetResponse. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about both of these email marketing softwares, including how they work, what they are, including what they are good for, some of the pros and cons, the pricing, and everything like that. So, if you are thinking about picking up one of these email marketing softwares, or potentially switching from one to the other, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so jumping right into this, the first thing that I will say is that these two email marketing softwares are two of the best on the market. Like, they are both very, very good, and if you go with either of these, like, I would understand, you, you would not be making a mistake. Now, in terms of just some of the differences, uh, the first thing that I would mention is that GetResponse also offers SMS marketing as well as email marketing, whereas MailerLite just offers email marketing. Now, it's certainly not the best, as it says the SMS feature is currently only available in the EU and Russia. So if you're anywhere outside of these areas, then it's definitely still not the best and you will not be able to use the SMS feature of this tool. But if we just strictly compare these as email marketing softwares, which one is better right here? So if I just log into MailerLite, you can see that this is the user interface. Now, I personally prefer MailerLite. Um, if we open up get response right here, you can see the reason that I prefer this. Uh, like, it's just a lot more professional, it looks more modern, it looks newer, and it just looks a lot better. Now, if we go ahead and create a campaign, the next thing that I want to mention, and this might seem like a, a tiny little thing, but it's actually something quite big, is the templates. In email marketing, templates are absolutely huge. I'm a very lazy email marketer, so if I can find a fantastic template that I can just put right in and use as my email template, then that is definitely a great option. In terms of the templates, I have to say, MailerLite, it does have some really nice templates. However, compared to GetResponse, it's kind of lacking. Like you can see, we just have some generic templates, whereas on GetResponse, they just look a lot better. If we preview this, if you receive this in your email, it looks fantastic. So I would say, uh, in terms of the templates, if this is something you're really interested in or you look for, then GetResponse has much better templates compared to MailerLite. So that is what I would say. Now, the main difference between these two email marketing softwares, because they are both so good, of course, comes down to the pricing. So if we take a look at the pricing for both of these, so the first thing that I want to mention is the free trial. Now, with both of these, you can get a 30-day free trial uh, if we just bump up the contacts. No matter how many contacts you have, you can get a free trial, a 30-day free trial, with either of these softwares. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now, that is the first free trial that they have. Now, the second free trial, for some reason, um, get response, don't mention it here, but you can actually sign up to a free account, get unlimited emails, space for up to 500 contacts, and basically everything you need as a kind of like a free test account to try this out. MailerLite, you can see, has a similar test account right here. However, this goes up to 1,000 subscribers, so double that of, uh, of GetResponse. However, you don't get unlimited emails, as you can only send 12,000 emails per month. Uh, I say only, that is still pretty amazing for a free account. Once again, you get everything you need. So, I would say that these are both pretty even free trials. Like, either way, you can try both of these out if you like, and they both have absolutely fantastic free trials. Now, which one is actually cheaper? So let's say that we have 5,000 subscribers on the list. You can see that with GetResponse, you will be paying $54 for Essential, $95 for Pro, and $169 for Premium. On MailerLite, you either pay $32 for Growing Business, or $39 for Advanced. Now with both of these, I would just recommend going with the the best version. Uh, you basically get everything you need in the essential and growing business plans, and you only need to upgrade if you need more advanced tools like webinars, contact scoring, Facebook integration, like all of this stuff is more advanced. You basically just need the base or the cheaper tool, and we can see that MailerLite is quite a lot cheaper, $32 compared to $54. Let's see if this remains consistent and bump this up to 10,000 contacts. MailerLite, $54, and GetResponse, $79. It does stay consistent, MailerLite is a lot cheaper. And let's just try one more time, 
50,000 contacts, so a big email list. MailerLite, $239, compared to GetResponse, $299. Just because of the pricing and the fact that MailerLite is cheaper, it has a better user interface, and although the templates are not really as good, just the fact that it has a cheaper price for a platform that has a very similar level of quality, I would definitely go with MailerLite. That is what I would say. So, that is MailerLite versus GetResponse. Now, if you guys want to sign up for either of these softwares, all I ask is that you do so using the links down in the description. Those are affiliate links, meaning that if you sign up through those links, I will receive a small commission or a kickback of the sale at no extra cost to you. It's almost like a token of appreciation, so if you did find this video valuable or you learned something from this video, then all I ask is that you use those links. And until next time guys, take care.